I'm Vicki, a librarian at the Maricopa County Library District. I'm glad you joined me to learn how to download and stream movies and TV shows from the library, all included with your library card. I'll show you what's available and how to use Hoopla and Canopy. Here's a preview of what you can find on Hoopla. At the top here, you can scroll to the right through the featured content. And then down below here, you can scroll down through collections and genres. I'm showing you the version on the web, but it'll be similar when you use the TV app. This is showing you the different genres of movies that you can select from. And then you can scroll down and see more collections. You can also sort in different ways, including sorting by popularity. I've been browsing movies, but now I'm going to browse the television. Um, it also has featured collections at the top, and then you can scroll down. You can look at the genres and other collections. So I'm going to take a look at what's new to Hoopla. And you'll notice that Hoopla has Acorn TV and BBC shows along with the great courses, which is also in Canopy. So I'm going to borrow this episode of the great, this great course. Another great collection on Canopy is uh, the Craftsy Collection, a collection of instructional crafting videos. So to find them, I went to Advanced Search. I searched for Craftsy as the publisher. So you can see you can start even from the beginning and learning how to do knitting or other crafts. Hoopla also has something called binge passes. So you would click on browse and then binge passes to see all of those. Binge passes give you access to a whole collection of content for a period of time. So this tells you what is a binge pass. I'm going to borrow this Hallmark Movies Now binge pass. And then to find the items I checked out, I'll go to My Hoopla and then Currently Borrowed. So to watch this episode of The Great Courses, I'll scroll down to find the one I borrowed and then select Play. For the Hallmark Binge Pass, I can view the whole collection and then play any of them for seven days. So let's take a look at Canopy. So Canopy has different collections that you can browse here. And I'm looking at the web version, so it's going to look a little bit different than the TV app, uh, but it's the same content. Um, Canopy has uh, the Criterion collection of films. It also has The Great Courses, BBC shows, PBS documentaries, and more. 
So right now I'm looking at the genres that you can see in this top menu here. Um, and then from here, you can browse through the great courses. And it's also known for documentaries. And then in the search bar, you can type in things like PBS and see those here listed by topic. And then now I'm going to search for BBC. And then I'm going to select Call the Midwife. And um, you can start playing it right away, but that is going to use one of your tickets as soon as you start playing it. And the way the ticket system works is that you have a set number of tickets per month, but all the kids' content does not use tickets, so you can watch as much as that as you want. The easiest way to watch library content on your TV is with a smart TV that has the ability to install the Hoopla and Canopy apps. If you're not sure how to do that, check in your TV instruction manual. I know some of you are telling me, but I haven't seen the manual since I bought the TV. Don't worry, you can find it online, like this one. This is a random TV I found on the library's Consumer Reports online resource. Look for your TV's model number on the back and search for it along with the word manual. Or go directly to the manufacturer's website and look for a support page. In the table of contents, there should be a section about how to add apps to your TV. If your TV is compatible, you will find Hoopla and Canopy listed with your app choices. If you still have questions, check the Hoopla and Canopy help pages. The Hoopla help page is at hooplaDigital.com help. This Using Hoopla on Your TV section will tell you if your service is supported. You can see other supported devices in the supported devices section. There are even sections for specific types of smart TV operating systems which will go into more details about how to install and use the Hoopla app on your TV. The Canopy Help page is at help.canopy.com. This section about TV and mobile apps has individual pages about the various smart TV operating systems. If you don't have a smart TV, you may still be able to watch Hoopla and Canopy by installing the app on your phone or tablet and then using screen casting, screen mirroring, or even by connecting your device to your TV using an HDMI to USB-C cable or whichever cable will be compatible with your device. 
for both Hoopla and Canopy, you will need to sign in to the app. Choose Maricopa County Library District as your library and enter your library card number, which is under the barcode on the back of your card. Your PIN or password is usually the last four digits of your phone number. Hoopla will additionally have you create a password just for Hoopla, so be sure to make a note of it somewhere. 